You got here because you want to test the primary ignition circuit. You have multiple cylinder misfires or you have random misfires. The coil's primary receives power from B+. If B plus isn't correct, go test the charging system. Don't go and start testing ignition primary until you are sure that you have a good charging system. B plus must be within a half a volt of battery voltage. If the coils don't receive full battery voltage, they can't produce enough spark when the engine's under load. The coils connect to the module for battery voltage. In this case, in this example, you see here that it's just tabs that go to the bottom of the coil. The connections can become corroded and create a voltage drop, as you see here in this example. The coils connect to the module for battery voltage. Each coil connects to the module with wires or tab. The module supplies a ground to start the current flow. Each coil has its own ground. First, connect a low current amp probe to look at the coil's primary circuit. You can see that we connected right to B+. You can see our two patterns that we pulled up here are the ignition primary current flow and the EST signal, electronic spark timing signal. 10 amps. That's what we're showing on our example. This is normal for this specific vehicle that we're working on. Our EST is specific, and in this case, it's 4.7 volts. Compare the peak amps to vehicle-specific specifications. Look at the relationship between the coil current and the EST signal. This module decides when to start current flow for the coil. It closes the coil switch, grounds the coil. EST signal goes high before the start of the current flow. You can see it's 1.6 there. The module delays turning on coil current for about 1.6 milliseconds after it receives the EST signal from the PCM. This is vehicle specific to this example. The sync signal determines which switch to close, which coil to fire. Adjust the sweep rate to verify that current for all coils are within specifications. The pattern on the left shows us that all coils are drawing the same current. This pattern is caused by a bad ignition module on the left. And then the pattern on the right is a good pattern. Remember that there are rules relating to coil current and EST signals. The center pattern violates these rules, making it easy to diagnose. You can see it's not the same. The one on the left, the one on the right, the one in the center is the bad one. On this example, one coil draws over 10 amps. This is a shorted coil. But be careful here. The second coil exceeds current specifications. Make sure that you can find both of these bad coils, not just the bad ones with the big differences. The pattern on the right is missing current flow for one of its coils. This is an example of a bad coil. Compared to the one on the left, the coil is good and you can see both of them. The one on the right, we have a missing event. Corrosion like this won't stop current flow, but will cause it to be lower than normal. If the start of the current becomes erratic, the ignition module is most likely at fault turning on the coil at different times. The two arrows show that the turn on signal could be oscillating back and forth there. Erratic is when the time between the rising edge of the EST and the time the current starts continuously changes. In our example it was consistently 1.6 milliseconds. In some applications the PCM is always in charge of the current the rising edge of EST starts the coil current. You can see it doesn't have that 1.6 millisecond delay. There is no delay on this system. On these systems, when coil saturation time is incorrect, the PCM is most likely at fault. Make sure that all the signals going into the PCM are correct before condemning the PCM. 
Coil peak amps and coil on time must match vehicle specific speci specifications. You can see that we're measuring coil on time and on this one at the top it's a current limiting driver. Current builds and then it holds. Coil current limiting drivers are not always used. In some cases a ramp and fire driver is used. You can see the coil build up and then just fire. You must correct any problems in the ignition primary before going on to secondary ignition diagnostics. Specifications are for coil rise time. Shorted windings in the primary can cause shorted can shorten the rise time. Excessive primary resistance can increase the rise time. To have normal primary current flow, you must have good B plus, a good coil to module connection, a normal primary resistance, a good driver, and a good module ground. 